Hi preschoolers, it's Pat with another bug book. Take a look. What do you think this book might be about? Hmm. This book is about a kind of bug called a cricket. And this cricket is learning to chirp. The title of the book is The Very Quiet Cricket. And the words and pictures are by Eric Carl. In this book, the cricket meets a lot of other bugs. So while you're listening, I want you to count the different kinds of bugs that we see. And at the end, we'll make a list. The Very Quiet Cricket. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to the branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. How are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good evening, whirred a dragonfly, gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Mm, how do you think the cricket is feeling? A lunar moth sailed through the night. And the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the lunar moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound she had ever heard. The end. Hmm, so preschoolers, pause the video and think, how many bugs were in this story? What bugs do you remember? Make a list and when you cut, um, then you can unpause the video and we'll talk about it together.
Okay. Are you ready? I have my list right here. Let's look at it together. There was the locust, the big praying mantis scraping his legs, the worm in the apple, the spittle bug in the froth, the cicada in the branch of the tree, there was the bee going flower to flower, there was the dragonfly flying over the water, the mosquitoes at night, and that quiet luna moth. And of course, there was a cricket. Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bugs in our story. Good job, preschoolers. I wonder how many bugs you can find today. Count them and see, and I'll talk to you soon.